All right, let's call this regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District to order. And it's Thursday, May 25th, 2023. Um, let's call the roll. We'll start with Ruth. I am here. Jason. Here. Mike. Here. Tony. Here. I am Nick, the chairman. Uh, approval of the minutes from the regular monthly meeting in April. Joe and Joe and oh, I'm sorry, Joe. Um, Joe and Ben have excused absences. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Joe Carroll and Ben McDougall. Now I will ask for a motion to approve last monthly minute, last monthly meeting minutes. Motion to approve the oh, April thank monthly you, Jason. meeting minutes. Second. Second, Tony. Excellent. All right. Uh, any. Corrections, questions, comments? Barring none, all in favor. I wasn't. And one that. abstention. So four to zero to one. Okay, superintendent's report. A copy of the monthly report of operations and a monthly proposal is included in the packet. Our average. Start again because I didn't have my yes, on. That's a good idea. Uh, a copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of April is included in your packet. Our average effluent flow for the month was 1.5 million gallons a day. Our effluent quality was well within our permitted limits with uh, averages of 94% BOD and 97% TSS removal for monthly averages of 10 and 5. Copy of the pump station flows for the month of April is included in your packet. The flows at pump station 24 from the 1st to the 6th were erroneous. As mentioned last month, we had replaced the control panel there and the flow data was not calibrated. The calibration was completed on the 7th. We also had some high flows at several pump stations during an extreme wet weather event at the end of the month. Mostly within construction areas and then rolled into the next pump stations down the road. Uh, LD 718, uh, Mr. Rico and I both testified in favor of the, uh, at the Committee of Environmental and Natural Resources public hearing uh, for LD 718, which would put a 24 month stay on the implementation of LD 1639. Um, if passed, it will allow the continued use of out-of-state bulky waste at Juniper Ridge Landfill, which will allow our sludge to be landfilled here in Maine and not hauled off to Canada. Um, if passed, it will result in a significant savings for the district. LD17 was voted out of committee, committee with a unanimous vote not to pass. So uh, I think our efforts were for the good. Uh, pump station two wet well upgrades. Uh, that contract was signed, and we are we had our uh, pre-construction meeting with TBUC. On-site work is currently scheduled to begin early September, while they get all the parts and pieces and staffing and together to get that work done. Uh, the an annual audit is now complete. I had hoped to have a copy of the audits for everyone at tonight's meeting. Um, they're still being assembled, and once I have them, I'll get them mailed out uh, earlier than the packet so you have time to review it with such lovely reading. Uh, Willette and Associates will make a pres presentation on the audit during our June regular monthly meeting. And finally, F1P fast results uh, we received again this month. We got uh, um, 52.8 nanograms per liter. Uh, which is in line with all our other results to date. Any, any questions for the superintendent? Okay, we're moving on through no correspondence and no old business. Seven, new business. Okay, town center subdivision. Um, on behalf, which is phase 10 of the Downs, and we do have a representative from Coral Palmer here tonight. Um, on behalf of Crossholds Holdings, Coral Palmer has requested approval of the Downs Town Center subdivision, uh, which is 
phase 10 as presented in the submittal documents. The proposed project will include extension of the existing roadways, development of a multifamily and mixed use lots, utility infrastructure, stormwater facilities, parking, walkways, and landscaped areas. This expansion will include extending existing roadways, including the Scarborough Downs Road to the north and Market Street to the east. An additional roadway cross street is proposed off of Scarborough Downs Road to the east towards the existing racetrack, uh, which will be stubbed for future expansion and connections. The, ex the extension of Market Street will allow access to Higus Parkway via the previous approved Higus subdivision. This phase is anticipated to create six lots initially, which will include multifamily and mixed use developments. The district will take ownership of all the infrastructure in the public way uh, once it's complete. The proposed sewer infrastructure includes 450 feet of 15 inch gravity oh. sewer, 450 feet of 12 inch gravity, That's what we're doing. 730 feet of eight inch gravity and 16 manholes. The wastewater flow allocation is 160 gallons per lot for a total wastewater allocation of 960 gallons. And that's um, just for clarification, that differs in the design flows that they had estimated for each lot. Um, uh, as we have proceeded through these lots developments, we have uh, we allocate 160 gallons per lot that the, the developer is responsible for and when the lot gets uh, proposed to be developed, the remaining additional flow is picked up by the developer. Um, this project is fully subject to the capacity reserve fee. The current capacity reserve fee is $19.32 per gallon, adjusted monthly based on the ENR. Now, at that current rate, uh, the total construction fee due is $18,547.20. Any flows uh, more than this approval are subject to additional approvals from capacity reserve fees. A sewer extension permit is required, and a complete application associated fee shall be submitted to the district prior to permit being executed, and no site sewer work shall be completed until that point. Um, Provide updated plans to the superintendent that satisfactory address the peer review comments. Underwood is currently uh, has the plans in hand and are conducting a peer review of, of uh, the drawings and uh, any comments um, that they have uh, will be required to be implemented in the, in the uh, finalized drawings. And then the costs associated with the engineering peer review will be paid by uh, the developer. I will entertain a motion to approve. Thank you, Jason. And Ruth was second. Who did? Second. Ruth. Thank you. I think Ruth, you raised your hand. Ruth got it. All right. Okay. So now we can discuss it. I'll invite Drew to the podium. Please identify yourself. Work with what you're proposing here. Thank you. Yes, Drew Gagnon with Goral Palmer representing Crossroad Holdings, LLC. Um, I have a couple boards I'll walk um, the board through um, and just kind of visually grasp the project. So just a little bit of background. This is the town center subdivision that I know the developer is extremely excited about. It's a big commercial mixed use subdivision that's happening right in the downtown center. We did receive an approval a few years ago, a little bit before COVID, for a town center design. Um, and then once COVID happened and programs started changing, we had ended up rescinding that approval. Um, and so we're back in front of the board with a redesign of town center, um, very similar um, as far as sewer infrastructure goes with pipes, um, just different layout, different lots, a little bit different roadway infrastructure. I'm gonna spin around here so you can still hear me. So this is the overall downs uh, aerial plan, we call it, with an overlay of our, our drawings on it. And, and the portion that we're talking about this evening is right in the center of the Downs project. So Higus Parkway is right on the south here. Route 1 is all the way on the right-hand side, and Payne Road is on the left up here. This is the Innovation District, and this is the 550-acre property. So you can see we're really just focused on about 35 acres or so right in the middle. I just thought some context would help the, uh, help the board. 
This is another plan that um, kind of zooms in more, and I've rotated everyone 90 degrees, so Highgate Parkway is on your left. Um, this is Market Street. This portion right here is actually, uh, it's been approved, um, and it's under construction. The Willowdale Crossing is right here, and this roadway, I believe, is up to gravel right now, so you can actually drive down there. Um, the existing Downs Road is right around here, you can see. So, so you can see that our, our proposed project in here, we're extending Downs Road from where it's constructed just past Hackamore, which is right off the page down there. Um, we're extending Downs Road all the way up um, to connect back into Downs Road here. So this, this whole area is cleared, um, and we're really just kind of chipping away at the project as we've done to date. We're extending Market Street up and creating, again, the 30-acre development there. This plan does show a few of the buildings that are proposed within it. Um, two of them are on your agenda next. Um, and really what we're focused on for just this project specifically in this uh, application is just the roadway infrastructure. Um, and I'm going to go to this one. Not as exciting to look at, but it does have the line work for the gravity sewer on it that we're proposing. So um, we've left off basically right down by pump station 27, right down there by my finger. Um, that's where we currently left off the gravity sewer system and we're extending that north on Downs Road and, and um, stubbing it for again a future connection. We're extending eight inch gravity sewer down Market Street for additional development up here and a 12 inch sewer on Cross Street, which is the road right there east-west on the plan. Um, there is a six inch force main that comes from pump station 26, which is south of Innovation District off the page here. Um, that force main goes and connects all the way down to pump station 27, which is just about done and I believe up and running, um, but not yet over to the, uh, converted over to the district. There's a six inch force main that we are connecting to right at the end of Cross Street. Um, that's been our plan all along is to kind of incrementally approach that um, and the idea would be we'd go a little bit further on future roadway networks, and then that'd be kind of the final design of pump station 26, if you will, that short section or shorter section of force main. So the force main will be removed after the gravity main connection so that it still drains the pump station 27. We're just chipping away back at it. Um, Dave did a good job of mentioning the um, all the different sizes of 15 inch, 12 inch, and eight inch gravity main. And right now we're just leaving stubs for these lots and we're kind of working through final plans right now and working with other teams on exactly where the buildings are going, where all the sewer stubs are going. Um, but again, we're real excited about this project and uh, the commercial mixed use nature of it. Um, happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Any questions for Drew? This is the, this is the proposed six lots, are they strictly residential? No, they're going to be a combination of multi mixed mixed use. So true, some of them will have commercial, retail, and residential all on the same lot. Some will be exclusively residential. Others will be exclusively commercial. Okay. And there could be more than six lots. I've left it at that. The, the intention, the way we've gone about the um, town of Scarborough process is the ability to kind of divide these further as more developments known. Appreciate it. Any more questions for Drew? Barring none, all in favor? None opposed. Thank you, Drew. Thanks. Uh, sure. Okay, so. Um, Point Engineering requested approval for a 248-unit apartment building to be located on Lot 4 in Phase 10, which is the phase of the development we just talked about. I recommend approval of the following. Uh, you need to start over. Oh, sorry about that. The Lot 4, Phase 10 in the Downs, and this is uh, Lot 4 within the phase that we just uh, talked about, um, uh, approved. Uh, on behalf of MNR Holdings LLC, Acorn Engineering, uh, requested approval for two 48 uh, unit apartment buildings to be located on lot four. Um, I recommend approval with the following conditions. The wastewater flow allocation is 19,200 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste based on 96 residential units at 200 gallons per day. That's our standard. 
Uh, this project is fully subject to the capacity reserve fee. The current capacity reserve fee is $19.32 per gallon. It is adjusted monthly based on the ENR. Um, upon approval of the town center phase 10, this lot will have the 160 gallon per day credit that um, we had talked about on the previous approval. Uh, therefore, the capacity reserve fee is due on the 19,040 gallons. Uh, based on this current rate, the capacity reserve fee due is $367,952.80. Um, approval of this project subject to the trustees' approval of the Downs Phase 10, which just occurred, and then uh, two uh, $100 sewer connection permits will be required for this because there will be two stubs for this project. And we do have a representative from Acorn Engineering here. Well, before we get started with our representative, may we have a motion, please? Motion to approve the conditions set forth by the Well Thank you, Ruth. All right. So please introduce yourself and um, tell us what you're going to do. Sounds good. Uh, my name is Peter Heil with Acorn Engineering. Uh, on behalf of MR Holdings, I'm excited to be here uh, for one of the first developments within the town center. As Drew just mentioned, um, we're going to be on lot four uh, within the town center uh, on the corner of Scarborough Downs Road and, and Cross Street. Uh, we are proposing two 48 unit uh, buildings. Um, I'll swing around. Uh, two 48 unit. Uh, entirely residential unit, um, residential buildings uh, with connections to the proposed uh, sanitary network within Cross and Down Street that was just approved. Uh, within that, uh, we're connecting and extending the eight inch stubs. Uh, building A, which now has an address of one Cross Street, will extend to uh, the 15 inch main within Scarborough Downs Road. And building B, which is 7 Cross Street, will extend the 8-inch service connection uh, to the 12-inch main within, within Cross Street. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, all the conditions uh, are, we're fine with, so happy to answer any questions. Any questions? Barring none, all in favor? None opposed. Thank you. Thank you. All right. On to 31 homes at the Downs. Lot 6, space 10. I turned my mic on this time. I noticed. 3 uh, I homes, not 31. Oh, I'm not wearing my glasses. Sorry. 3 I homes at the Downs in Lot 6, again, within this subdivision that was just approved, Phase 10 of the Downs. On behalf of Preservation of Affordable Housing, Inc., Goral Palmer is requesting approval of a 51-unit apartment building as outlined in their submittal documents. I recommend approval with the following conditions. The wastewater flow allocation is 10,200 gallons per day of typical sanitary waste based on 51 residential units at 200 gallons per day. Um, the project is fu fully subject to the capacity reserve fee. Uh, the current capacity reserve fee is the $19.32, as previously stated. And, um, and it's adjusted monthly. Upon approval of the town center phase 10, this lot uh, had the 160 gallon per day credit. Therefore, the capacity reserve fee subject to the fee is 10,040 gallons per day. And based on the current rate, it, um, the capacity reserve fee due is $193,972.80. Uh, this approval uh, was subject to the trustees' approval of the Downs Phase 10, and then and this project will require a $100 sewer connection permit fee. With okay. that, I'll entertain a motion. And again, we do have a representative here from... Thank you. Motion, motion to approve. Thank you, Jason. Mike got a second. All right. We're going to invite Drew back to the podium again. Thank you, Drew. Thank you. Drew Gagnon with Goral Palmer representing preservation of affordable housing this time. Um, Dave did a good job recapping this project. 
this is the overall plan again. I just want to point to we're talking about this building right here, uh, fronting Downs Road and kind of bookending Cross Street, if you will. So the item that was just in front of you is this one in the uh, kind of southeast corner of the project, and then um, this is the one from affordable uh, from preservation of affordable housing. So. What we're proposing is a 51 unit, 100% affordable and 100% um, for the physically disabled um, uh, apartment building. Uh, we're real excited about this project. This is kind of a first of its kind in Maine um, and there's not many of them in the Northeast or the nation really. So we're really excited to be partnering with Preservation of Affordable Housing and 3i Home of Maine for, uh, to bring this type of development to Scarborough. Um, so the, the focus for this project is, com is ADA accessibility. So everything um, is really accessible. Um, you can see a lot of the ADA parking spaces we have which make up the majority of the entire site. Um, as far as the sewer connection for this project, it's about as simple as we could get. Um, we're leaving a sewer stub right at the center of the building there, and the building is about four feet from the right of way, and we're connecting right to it. Um, nothing much more than that. Um, I do, it is my understanding that this is another residential project, but there is more commercial development forthcoming. I think it just happened to be the two residential projects in front of you for this evening. So happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Any questions for Drew? Go ahead, Tony. I do have one question. Can you uh, provide an overview of the, like, the proposed town center versus these particular projects? I was kind of curious to see how that fit in. So this um, thick dashed line, if you can see it on the, on the board here, is the overall town center subdivision. Um, and the item that was phase 10, the first one was just the roadway infrastructure in these roadways. Um, and then this project is just this lot right here. And the project before you was the one on the corner right there. So we're just chipping away at the, the six lots. Can you point out the, where the uh, grandstand is in relation to all that? Yeah, certainly. So the grandstand building is actually right here within this lot, and that down there is the clubhouse building, the other standalone building. Um, this is American House at the Downs. That's off the sheet there. That's a 143-unit senior living facility that was approved, I think, a year and a half ago or so. Is that facility going to stay in place, or is it going to be torn down? The grandstand is going to be removed, yeah. Oh, it's going to be removed. Yeah, correct. They're working on the construction and getting that going this summer. So it should be going down this summer is my understanding. Thank you. Yeah. Any more questions for Drew? I have a question. What are you doing with the debris from the grandstands? Well, we, we had to, <laughs> it starts with the, 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 DO, the DEP permit we had. Um, there's an abatement um, program in place for removing that. Um, I don't know the specifics of it off the top of my head, but I know that there's careful demolition with it given the DEP permit that we received. Okay, just because I know landfill that could use some. <laughs> <laughs> Get it like that. Get it like that. Pass that along. <laughs> Sorry, inside joke with the wastewater community. <laughs> uh, uh, more importantly, thank you, Drew. I appreciate that. Um, any other questions for Drew? All right, barring none, all in favor? None opposed. Thank you, Great. Drew. Thanks for your time. All right, so um, we're down to 7D, budget summary. Uh, the four month budget summary is included in your packet, and I recommend approval. Motion to approve. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Mike. All right, any questions for the superintendent about the budget? <laughs> Barring none, all in favor? None opposed. Thank you. I would ask public comment, but there's hardly any public left. Um, so we'll go with trustee comments. I've always start to the left with Tony. Oh, I'm sorry. You had questions about? No, no, no. I said he answered some of the questions I had. Oh, I just kind of I wanted to get an overview of the the, the project that it was kind of put being put together. Sometimes it just kind of helps understanding. Mm -hmm. 
All set. Thank you. Uh, Mike? Um, <laughs> the mic is on. Um, now I lost my train of thought. Um, no, I'm, I'm at the, looks like there's a lot of activity going on at, uh, at, at the downs. I'm going to have to take a ride out there. Um, I haven't been out there for, for quite a while. But other than that, looks like uh, another uh, job well done by Dave and his staff this month. And uh, we're moving into the summer months. And hopefully it'll be a good summer. Cool. Ruth. 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 I don't know. You're, you're, I, I, I was going to come back this way. Ladies first. Um, thank you again for a great job. You have a wonderful team. And uh, happy Memorial Day. And thank you to all those who have served. And have a wonderful month. Thank you, Ruth. Now it's Jason's turn. I'll echo those comments regarding Memorial Day. Thank you to everybody who has served. And uh, hopefully everybody has a safe and happy Memorial Day. But also thanks to Nick and Dave for uh, being our spokespeople uh, with LD 718. And uh, in support of that, um, hopefully we have a little bit of a stay of execution here on uh, what could have been a very serious problem. And hopefully it'll get worked out in the end. But thank you all for your efforts. And uh, thanks to the staff, of course, for another great month at the district. Cool. Thank you. All right. I'll echo my fellow trustee comments. Wish everyone a happy and safe Memorial Weekend. Shout out to all the graduates. Um, it's graduation season now. Uh, I also was honored to go with Dave to testify in front of the Environmental Natural Resource Committee. It was a lesson in democracy in action. Truly appreciated it. So with that, I will entertain the final motion of the evening. Motion to adjourn. Thank you, Jason. Second. Thank you, Ruth. All in favor? None opposed. We're done. <laughs>